What is going on guys? Might be wondering why I'm on my cell phone right now and not on this camera. It's because this is super busy. Uh, just filmed a bunch of content for our diabetes in action program, a bunch of workouts, it's gonna be super cool. But this video, I wanna show you my attempt at restarting the Dexcom G6 sensor in 2020. Got my Dexcom here, which is not where it's supposed to go. I realize that, I'm kind of a rule breaker, right? Uh, you're also not supposed to restart the sensors and I wanna make sure that you guys are aware that this is not, uh, this is not a video about how things are supposed to happen. This is a video about the emergency situations where you might need to reuse a sensor. Maybe you're out camping, maybe you're on a trip somewhere, maybe you're unable to get your supplies in time. This video uh, is going to show you how to restart your Dexcom G6 sensor in an emergency situation, okay? So I am going to, first step is, I'm gonna make sure I wait till this expires. I don't have time though, so I'm actually trying something new. I'm going to try making it expire. In other words, I'm gonna stop the sensor and then I'm going to follow along with steps one, two, three, however many there are. So step one, wait until your sensor expires, or in my case, stop the sensor, and then wait 15 minutes after you remove the transmitter. So again, wait till your sensor expires, or in my case, I'm going to stop the sensor. Step number two, remove the transmitter, the gray part, with a credit card, like swipe it around the edges or something. Some people use a test strip if they find that that's pretty useful, and I'm probably just gonna use a credit card. And then step three is to wait 15 minutes and then restart with the same code. So step one is happening right now. I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna stop the sensor and I'm going to remove the transmitter, okay? So here we go. All right guys, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm gonna try and remove the transmitter, which is this gray piece right here with a gift card. I said I was gonna use a credit card. I'm not gonna use a credit card because this is on video. So with this gift card, I'm going to try to remove the transmitter, which we'll do ahead, go ahead and do that now. Gonna do it with, uh, gonna essentially pry it out. So let's see if I can do this thing. The arm is a difficult to place for this to happen, isn't it? Guys, I did it. I did it. Ah! Okay, so it works. That was, <laughs> that was difficult though. So from the, uh, the oh, all right, the gift card is officially bent. So that's a bummer. You can kind of see that. Yikes. Okay, but totally works. All right, guys. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait 15 minutes. And I probably can't hear me super well right now. Turn this off. All right, so it works. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna wait 15 minutes. I'm gonna wait 20 just to play it safe. Then I'm gonna plug this back in and uh, we're gonna use the same code and see if it works. What's going on guys? So I wanted to give you an update on what's going on. Got the Dexcom. It is still secure in there and we got, look at that, about 24 hours of range again. What's up? I'm gonna flip this around this so you guys can see that we have officially 20, come on, get that glare, 25 minutes remaining. What's up? I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do it. There we go. <laughs> 25 minutes left, so we're almost there. It's looking good. Usually it, it freaks out and beeps at you within the first 15 or 30 minutes if it, it thinks you're restarting. So I think we might be in the clear here, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. It worked. See that, it's got sensor warm up. Complete. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna hit this button. It says okay. Don't judge me <laughs> on whatever blood sugars are there. This has been a very stressful day in addition to this, all right? But it works. That's insane. I'm gonna put something up right there so you guys can see the steps one more time. But I'm gonna hit okay, see what the blood sugars are. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, give me good numbers. Oh, uh, not super great. <laughs> All right, 185. That's okay, though. I'm stoked this worked because honestly, uh, with it being my last run for this transmitter, I would have been in some trouble because that would have, I think that means it would have like not worked and I would have had to put a new transmitter in as well. All right guys, quick update. It was not 185 and the blood sugar is actually awesome, which is good and bad, right? Blood sugar, as you can see there, maybe if it, if it shows up, there we go, is 131. Awesome blood sugar. Bad news is it wasn't super accurate right off the bat, so keep that in mind. But you know, use these tips wisely. Again, I'm not recommending you do this. Do so at your own risk. But uh, the fact that we can restart it, it's still pretty cool. So good news is it works. This is the newest version that I've seen work. 
Uh, and on top of that, I didn't have to wait until it expired, right? I experimented and said, you know what? What happens if I stop it early? And it worked. So this is really exciting. Uh, I'm able to keep this in now for another 10 days. And uh, this shows me, shows you that if there is ever an emergency and you have to extend your sensor, that it is possible. And that's the purpose of this video, right? And now it's not great for me to have this on my arm for 20 days straight, right? But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to make sure this is possible in case for some reason we do need to restart our sensors and reuse them. So uh, do with that information what you will. I am not recommending anything. I am not saying that I uh, agree with this, but I wanted to put this information out there. So one more thing before you go is I want you to hit this button right there. Subscribe to our channel. Videos like this are going up weekly. It's everything type one diabetes. And once you subscribe, Step number two is going to be to go to ftfwarrior.com for all of your type 1 diabetes needs. There's programs, books, coaching, nutrition, fitness, blood sugars, everything type 1 diabetes. Head over there, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep up the fight.